Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode, today we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price because we are still ranging here between 39 to 38 thousand dollars. Then of course we're also gonna have a look into Ethereum and at the end also into the US dollar index and Nasdaq. So this video is brought to you by BitCat, here you can trade all the cryptos that you want up to 100x leverage and of course you can also just buy some cryptos with your fiat. On BitCat you have everything you want and here this is also the meeting point for new projects. For example here we are launching the Karmaverse, this is a new upcoming token based on gaming platforms so if you're interested in the metaverse and gaming platform tokens then check out Karmaverse, BitCat is launching it it and next to that uh, BitCat of course has also a lot of partnerships for example the Juventus uh, football club so if you want a reliable partner and a great exchange to trade all the cryptos that you want then sign up to BitCat with the link in the video description and now before we're gonna start in the four hour time frame for Bitcoin I probably gonna open up a new section where we can discuss some crypto news so let me know if you're interested in something like that because I'm planning to upload more videos about the news that are uh, coming up in the crypto space uh, if you're interested in that let me know in the comment section otherwise I probably gonna do more TAs on some altcoins also in the future so let me know what you are preferring more news related stuff overall the crypto space or do you want more TAs on some altcoins let me know in the comment section my friends what are your thoughts and wishes because uh, I'm planning to open up a new section here on this uh, channel so now my friends let's start here in the four hour time frame for Bitcoin because uh, currently we still are getting supported by the $38,000 area and after those bullish divergences in the three hour time frame and also after getting again positive money flow in the four hour time frame we were expecting here at least a breather to maybe retest even here the $41,000 area so far we didn't come up yet to test it but I'm pretty confident that in the next coming hours we could get that run up to at least test $41,000 and maybe even have continuation towards the main resistance at around $44,500 if we are able again to close four hour candles above the 200 moving average and of course above the top of the Keltner's channels. So currently the stock market is still tanking but here in Europe uh, we are seeing a little breather right now of course it could be a dead cat bounce but at least we are seeing a little breather today and that of course could also lead into a breather in the US market later on and of course also in the crypto market and that's why I still have all my longs opened and I still expect that Bitcoin is able here to at least come up here and test $41,000 and then $44,500 again before having probably a breakout to the upside because I'm still expecting a bullish resolution here since we are very oversold in the bigger time frames and also here in the daily time frame we are forming this nice ascending triangle as you can see yesterday we just had this close right at the support here at around $38,000 and right now we're bouncing from it so even though we are still trading below the EMA ribbons and below all the important moving averages, this pattern is still valid and as long as we don't have here a breakout to the downside, I'm still expecting here a bullish resolution to the upside and therefore we have of course to come up first here and break $41,000 and then finally also here the main resistance at around $44,500 before then we can look out for targets towards $56,000 because this is the target out of this uh, ascending a triangle if we're gonna have a bullish resolution here so I'm pretty confident that this pattern here could play out but we of course have to wait because if here we are going to see a breakout to the downside so below support of around $38,000 then we have to look again towards targets say in the low 30s again and if we have a look also into the weekly time frame here you can see that we are very very oversold and also here I'm expecting very soon a retest of the median line of the Keltner channels at around $44,500 exactly matching our main resistance here and once we're gonna have a breakout to the upside then of course here I'm expecting also some initial resistance at around $48,000 at the 20 weekly moving average but if we are able to push higher then the top of the Keltner channels is currently matching perfectly the target out of this ascending triangle and also from this previous support trend line which now is red because now it should be acting as a new resistance and this is also here at $56,000 dollars 
So you see that currently $44,500 and $56,000 are two very key price levels before Bitcoin could resume a potential bull market here and reach targets way above $100,000. But until then, we could get somewhere here a lower high and therefore also continue in this uh, trading range within those two purple lines. You can see here we are right at the support at around $38,000 and we have the resistance up here currently at around $69,000. So this is the trading range in the bigger picture until we're gonna see also here a breakout to the downside or to the upside. And that's why even if we would break here above the top of the Kelton channels, then of course we have very good chances for a continuation of our bull market and reach targets way above $100,000. But even then you can see that we would then of course also face this huge resistance up here at around $69,000 before we eventually go towards 100K. But uh, things will start to look extremely way more bullish than right now if we are able to trade again above $56,000. I think that this one will be the, the biggest resistance that needs to get uh, broken here. Uh, even more important than this one over here at $44,500 since we are currently forming this nice ascending triangle here. And I'm pretty confident that here we are going to see a bullish breakout to the upside. If we would see a breakout to the downside, I think that this could lead, of course, into a final capitulation, maybe even down towards the 200 weekly moving average at around $20,000. But be sure that a lot of people will buy at those price levels. And I don't expect that here we would stay for a very long time. I'm more expecting uh, some kind of a fast uh, V-shape recovery if we would have here that final capitulation down towards 20K. And even though we are in this huge consolidation phase here between 69 and $30,000, in the bigger picture, we are still holding important support and resistance levels. And if we have a look also here into the Bitcoin long-term power low, you can see that currently we are perfectly getting supported by this green trend line, currently at around $33,000. You can see the purple line is currently at around $140,000. So that could be a potential target if from now on we would just start to pump without stopping and to the downside you can see that it's at around the eleven thousand dollars i don't expect that bitcoin will drop down towards eleven thousand dollars i think that we most likely are going to stay here along this uh, green uh, trend line until maybe we are getting uh, that massive run up towards the purple line and maybe somewhere in 2023 or late 2022 we could get maybe uh, a final capitulation candle down towards the red trend line and that could be then of course at around twenty thousand dollars where we have right now the 200 weekly moving average and of course also some cme gaps still opened so everything is possible of course but right now we are holding very nicely this green trend line and as long as we are above it we could expect at any time a continuation of our bull market only if we would drop below then i'm expecting something like this where we are going to trade between the green line and the red trend line same like we also had in previous bear markets but you can see that every time we came down to this green trend line we always had huge bounces to the upside until we dropped below and that's why it's going to be very important that this 30k level is gonna hold because otherwise we are definitely uh, moving down towards the 20k area and based on this chart maybe even down towards eleven thousand dollars which in my opinion is not very likely but just that you have seen it here currently the red trend line is at eleven thousand dollars but as long as we don't have daily and weekly closes below $30,000, I think that this ascending triangle that we're forming in the daily time frame and also this rising channel that we have in the weekly time frame is still valid and therefore we could expect also a nice continuation to the upside. And wherever Bitcoin is going, of course, all the altcoins will go, especially Ethereum. Also here, we're seeing a little breather today. So everything is depending what Bitcoin is doing. If Bitcoin is pushing higher, then we should watch out here for the top of the Caltech channels for Ethereum at around $3,100. And as soon as we're gonna have daily closes above it, then of course we can look out for targets towards this main resistance up here, which is also matching with the top of the Kelton channels at around $4,300. Once we have again daily and weekly closes above it, then we can look out again for Moonboy targets for Ethereum somewhere between $8,000 to $18,000. But only if Bitcoin is uh, gonna continue to push towards $100,000 and of course also here Ethereum is breaking this main resistance up here but we are still far away from uh, those uh, resistance points first we have of course here to start pumping as soon as possible. 
And if we have a look here into Nasdaq, you can see that also here we're still waiting for that buy signal in the weekly time frame, and we are approaching this last support, the last chance of the bulls of having a nice bounce because we are touching now the bottom of the calendar channels and also the 100 weekly moving average. If this moving average will not hold, then watch out here for the 200 weekly moving average at $10,500. That of course could be also a huge support level for Nasdaq, but if we would see some kind of a capitulation candle down towards the 200 weekly moving average, this of course could be a huge catastrophe, not only for the stock market, but probably also for Bitcoin. So if we're gonna see Nasdaq here falling below the 100 weekly moving average, that could be also a warning sign that Bitcoin is also on the way down towards the 200 weekly moving average at the end. So we have to watch out also here for Nasdaq because Nasdaq must see a pump here. We are very oversold. We still have have positive money flow and we're still waiting here for a buy signal so a bounce in my opinion is about to come and it must come as soon as possible otherwise here things will start to look extremely bearish and if we have a look now into the DXY, into the US dollar index, you can see that also here we are approaching this main resistance from this rising channel and if we have a look into the daily time frame, you can see that we are trying to push uh, higher here but uh, you can see that in my own indicator, we are about to get a sell signal and also money flow is starting to decrease. So in my opinion, this could end up in something similar like this, where we have a fake out to the upside and then retrace back down to the support. This is the case, of course, if here we are failing to push higher, but if the DXY here continues uh, to pump, then of course, this is a valid breakout and uh, whenever the DXY is pushing higher and higher, this of course is a dangerous sign for the crypto and stock market. But I still expect something similar like here, since we are very overbought and also money flow is starting to decrease again. And if the DXY would return here down towards the main support level, that of course will lead into a nice rally for the crypto and stock market. We are not always inverse correlated, but most of the time. So with that said guys, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. If you like the content, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos. Check out the link to BitGet because here you have an all-in-one trading exchange and over on BitCat, you also get access to new projects and tokens. So definitely check it out. And don't forget also to sign up to all my other social media platforms. All the links are in the video description. So thank you again very much for watching my friends. And we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye.